Dude, doesn't that rip? You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Welcome back, everyone that wished me a happy birthday. Oh so good God. that you guys are here. Oh Jeff forgot. I missed that. About I did. Happy my birthday. fucking birthday. You, Maddie, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I did Mostly not. about Jeff. I, did, I wished you a happy birthday on the podcast the day before. The day after. No, we recorded Friday. a podcast the day before your birthday. Yeah, but then, you know, you wished me and one I on the you, podcast uh, uh, on oh, Friday. Oh, I have to wish you a double? Friday you did. Yeah, but I already had wished you on a Wednesday. No. You're lucky you got another one. You didn't get There's something a little sad about being like, no, I, I did it on the podcast in front of the fans for money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did you want a real heartfelt you, card yeah. in private? Yeah. Yeah. Did you want sincerity? It's a birthday. You're, it wasn't 30, was it? 31. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. 30's big. 31, it's over. I just uh, Stop I, with I, it. I do think you forgot. I can't forget something you didn't know in the first place. What day? Uh, <laughs> do you know what day his birthday is? Uh, can if you, I yeah. can do it back a week from when Wednesday would be December 1st. It is December 1st. Got it. But do you know when my birthday is? No. Oh, come on. I would have known December 1st, 2nd, or 3rd for you. I would have known. You can't uh, guess the month. Mm -mm. You don't even know the month? Oh, this you're... That fell apart. It was quickly. COVID the past couple okay. of years. I guess dude. based on vibes, I feel like you were conceived in winter. <laughs> <laughs> that does make that does make sense. Wait, when's your birthday, Jeff? May 18. That would be. I was gonna guess like May. In August I was gonna or... go May. Okay. I swear. You can't say what you were going to do when you didn't do it. You were given know, the opportunity. Know, we should introduce our guest before we get too far. Our guest today, Drago, is Maddie Weiner. Maddie oh. Weiner, great comedian, Thanks, fantastic Dale. comic, one of the best from yeah. Chicago. Well, not we met her in Chicago, but yeah, college in Chicago. College in Chicago. Where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. Raleigh, Charlotte. Uh, Chapel Hill, Carborough. Oh, that's where. Duke is. No, UNC. UNC. You oh. would get in a lot of trouble for saying that. Yeah, They're that big, big people. rivals. Right, right. You Did you play at Chapel Hill, Drago? Yeah. You oh, played Duke. Yeah. You played UNC? And Duke. Did you score? No, missed. Missed Dang. against uh, North Carolina. But I actually didn't play at Duke. I had a shoulder, shoulder Wait, injury. Wait, what year? Oh, this is fun. What year would you have played like at UNC? 2014. I could have been there. Mm. My best friend growing up, her dad was like the athletic director of UNC. Yeah, and wow. we like went around to all those games when we were in middle school. There's a guy. There's a guy at that game. At that game, I had a very specific memory of a guy holding a baby, in one hand and a beer in the other hand. And he yelled at me and said, "Hey, Dragovic, you suck." <laughs> <laughs> and you still remember that? I, you don't. You don't forget. Like I was taking the ball out and I just turned around. He had a baby in one hand and a beer in the other hand. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going That's on? It's gotta here? be weird because, like, I, I don't know. Comedy fans are like annoying on the internet sometimes, but like the fact that if you play sports, your fans are sports fans is sure. like crazy. Yeah, I mean, this I mean, this guy obviously he's a Carolina. He fan, knows nothing obviously. about you, and he's just like, fuck you. He just learned your name an hour before. He, he learned said my name that. probably right he there. He probably yeah. He yeah. learned how to pronounce it just to get that insult. Right. And it was just like <laughs> it was just such a weird thing to see like a dad be that into. Like oh, yelling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. And you're like a college kid, and he's like a full adult. I was like, 21. he's a 45 year old man <laughs> who had his dreams slipped through his hands, and now you're living it out, and he's mad at you. Yeah, and he's got to be. He's just at the game. He had to bring his kid, you know, like his baby. <laughs> he <laughs> couldn't just, afford a babysitter, no. or his wife didn't want to. So, yeah. No, but yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Well, last Wait, time more, you sorry, what were you saying? Last time you said, what did that guy say to you? Uh, the the guy who plays the NBA now. Oh, he he's said, like, nice pass, f word. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Because that really UConn. makes me laugh. Yeah, but this is about Maddie, yeah. Chapel Hill native. <laughs> this is where Drago I thought, you, I thought you were close to Raleigh. Why do I think it was Raleigh? It's not far. It's like forty minutes from Raleigh. Oh, the main okay. comedy club was in Raleigh. Oh, so like, okay. Well, never everyone done, had to flock there. Never been there. Good nights. Never been there. Wasn't Charlotte, good enough for good Raleigh, nights. Raleigh, Durham. Never been there. Guess not good enough. Yeah, mm -hmm. my comedy doesn't work there. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Uh huh. Drago, this is the thing. This is the thing where Drago does. You're the guest. He's gonna ask you a bunch of questions. He thinks he's like Larry King. I, I do. I do. <laughs> I do ask, I ask questions. He grills them. This is what I he ask does. questions. Yeah. Okay. She, I, I leave it open for you. She went to DePaul for college, right? Oh, Columbia. Columbia. Damn, Drago. Sorry. To do to, Miss. but but you went there to do stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I applied to one college. Yeah. I, and I got it. And then I was like, okay. Oh, you did? I, you applied to Columbia because it was in Chicago and you knew they had a good scene? A hundred percent. Wow. And, and for our listeners, like, this is how, like, uh, destined Maddie was for greatness. Uh, she started stand up at what, 15? Like 16. That's crazy. 
The story that it's, I or it's ill advised. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, it's crazy. It's well, Maddie's crazy, yeah. Maddie's been like tearing up New York for a couple of years now, and it, uh, you have oh, a lot nice of it thing. to do with you making your mom take you to open mics when you were in high school, right? Yeah, yeah. She would like because when I started, I didn't have like a like I didn't get like a permit, but you couldn't drive under nine. So my mom was like so supportive that she was like, "Oh yeah, I'll drive you like forty five minutes to an open mic." One time she did. <laughs> My poor mom. One time she did it, and there was this uh, mic at this place called Bull and Bear that was like okay. just this like it was like a bar where people could like play on slot machines, and there was like never anybody there. And we did a mic, and there was like she was the only non comic there. Oh. And she like my poor mother like drove me forty five minutes after she like got off work and was like, "I'll take you to like your dream." And then comics were like doing crowd work on her and like hitting on her, and I was like, "No, oh, dude, this she is had to hear the worst dick jokes and masturbation jokes." Yeah, for like and, three and, hours. and to top it all off, Maddie, didn't you miss prom for a gig? <laughs> yeah, I missed prom for a, a a show at a restaurant. No, it was, it was, a, it was, it was a one nighter, right? Yeah. yeah. So you <laughs> just a one night. It was like a local bar show. <laughs> 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 it wasn't like a gig. Damn. Wow. It was, but yeah, I missed prom. She, so you that's know. honestly cool. Like you missed prom because you never. Date. I just went and didn't have a date, and I had no excuse. There was no, I was had nothing going on. Were you ever in one of those prom groups where, like, uh, the girl brought, like, you were like one of another, you were like, you, like, she brought two guys or whatever, or she, uh, uh, something like that. I, for homecoming one year, I invited a girl and you had to buy her ticket. It was like 50 bucks, and then she went with another guy the day of. She's oh. like, she's like, actually, I'm going with Earl. <laughs> and then Earl. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Great. Wait, so then did you still go? Like, I still yourself? went because I bought fifty uh, fifty dollars. We went. To, I went to Applebee's alone, and yeah. she went to dinner with it's, Earl it's, somewhere it's else. Such a cra- oh, it's no. such a it's such a wildly crazy and interesting story. Like Maddie's high school career being a, trying to do comedy, and then you had to like in, in, inject your shitty what? high school experience <laughs> no, onto it. Like, <laughs> well, Matt, instead of asking more about it, it's like, well, oh, actually, my high my homecoming. That's home how coming. you talk. You add on. You my homecoming thrown, was so oh. different. It's, oh. like, it's like you guys oh have been married God. for 40 years. No, no. I God. would have killed him by I his asked third Drag- year. A little behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen. I asked Drago if he wants to talk about Kanye. And what, what he just went in on me before the Kanye's podcast. Kanye's not. What's funny about it? <sighs> no, I'm on Team Drago on this. Really? I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, yeah. okay. Kanye's anti-Semitic. Okay. <laughs> so are we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm it's Jewish. Like, I, we're kidding. We're also, kidding. Also, the water bottles are making me laugh so hard. I don't know if our, everyone our water, can see. Our, our, it is a real. I have the just, little dumpy a, pole and spring, <laughs> and Alex has like a nine foot tall, seven eleven. Alex has water a hog bottle. of a water bottle over there. Honestly, <laughs> it could not be a more better representation of our personalities. Yeah. The fucking <laughs> fake alpha with his corporate seven eleven bullshit water bottle. And what? What's yours? Poland Springs, a nice little small indie water bottle company. <laughs> They're you know? not indie. I know, just just having a little fun. Come having on. fun, Maddie. Maddie. Back to Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> Get back to Maddie. Sorry, I was. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I, it's, it's tough. It's a tough rip between me and bottled water, yeah. both equally tantalizing. Mm, I know. What are we going to talk about? I'm more? not injecting any more personal anecdotes for the rest of the episode. You better believe that, everyone. Drago, take it away, Mister Question. I, I do forget about your chest hair pops through your. Oh, your I didn't shirt. wear an undershirt today. It was a mistake. I should have. I need do you to usually shave. wear an undershirt. I should. I need to. Wait, I've... when you shave, do you shave the whole thing, or do you just no, shave like below? No, I the shave line? to like the Adam's apple. I leave this. It's like the one manly thing about me. I have to if, keep it going. Could you connect them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they would. They Whoa. would definitely connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Drago, you don't have that problem. No, yeah. just down here. Yeah. Pathetic. Yep. Pathetic. Maddie, do you have a question for you? <laughs> okay. I've been okay. th- I have I Is actually it like have a quiz question or like a question me No, question? my questions okay. are fun. My questions are okay. good. Jeff's questions are evil. Because I was really oh I, my I God. No, I was I hear Jeff's like geography questions and like history questions and I'm like, I'm not gonna I'm so bad Damn, at Damn, do you think you're smarter than Drago or not? Oh, Absolutely God. she is. I mean, I I would think so, but people are shocking I mean, sometimes. I hope so. <laughs> no, I'm people kidding. I don't know. Sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> people shock me how dumb they are, but I think Maddie is smart. Just to clarify your age, you're 25 now or 24? 24. 24. And yeah, you lived in New York since you were 22? 20, no, I've only been here about a year and a half. So you came here at 23? 
20 yeah i guess i turned 23 okay no you're right yeah i was 22 wow apparently i'm not smarter than drago you were right i was 22 good math drago and then yeah i turned 23 I know right your whole life babe. turning I know doing your comedy at 16 life. is such a wild move i love that i found that's I've, a genius move if you make it but if you don't make it it gets real sad but you're so doing thank, so well I but you're doing so well. Doing incredibly I know, well which is I know. why those stories like really like probably res like are they probably are very meaningful now right like being like doing yeah all that sacrificing and now it's uh, absolutely paying off yeah and it's like you're like oh that's cute that's sweet if i was if i was like yeah and the, i skipped prom for this show and then i did it again last week and be like okay <laughs> yeah, that's pretty brutal right, right. yeah but the i found a notebook from when i was like 16 because it's like the idea of doing stand-up at 16 is so stupid because it's like what could you possibly say oh, yeah. right. to like adults and Yo. one of them was like uh, God smokes weed, right? And I was like, I'll kill myself right Did now. Did you uh, to talk about that? I don't on stage? know that. I don't know. I hope that didn't make it. What on was stage, your opening was like, act like as a sixteen-year-old? What are you talking good. about? That's good. There we go. Oh my Jess. god! See, I'm getting into the question game. I can do it. The, you mean the the wondering Empathy. about the person that's in front of you? Empathy. <laughs> yeah. We're learning. I'm getting into the question game. Oh. Interested in another human being? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, yeah. What was your material at sixteen? It, I I one joke was like. Like about how like kids in my high school on Adderall sounded like Quentin Tarantino. Like I mean, it was bad. It oh, was like, like when not... they're on Adderall, they sounded like Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, okay. which is like I, oh, that's that. I mean, it's a sentence. You were doing. Yeah. I strung the words together. Yeah. It wasn't. You were doing great. impressions. I yeah, I really was throwing anything at the wall and seeing what sticks. I was like, I'm gonna do like a. I was really into like Kate Berlant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, totally. totally. you were doing yeah. characters and, and stuff. And now I'm like, I can't. I don't have whatever that skill set right. is. I'm like, not that. But. So often these Friday nights, your friends, you're probably talking. You probably, I know you definitely have friends at school. Obviously, like that <laughs> you, you, were you definitely had friends. I, I imagine <laughs> you. Sure you're probably se popular. So were you on to the brink of killing yourself in high school, or were you okay? <laughs> were you popular to semi popular? One of the. -ish? I don't think no. I was like a theater kid. What was the I was like art oh. building? But what was kid. that break off at some point? Like your friends knew on Friday nights. Like what was the conversation? conversation with your friends where your friends were like hey we're gonna go to the you know you know john's having this house party and you're like and they're like you know matt are you going to do your comedy thing or were they just like pretty cool with it or like, how did your friends like view it? i think i kind of split off because i was like too anxious to like go to parties not like socially anxious but i was just like i don't want to do drugs like i was like yeah, I don't wanna, yeah, yeah. like you know what i mean so like it, i don't it kind of just happened I think people were like, what the yeah. fuck? You never really home? drank, right? You no. never really yeah, got You didn't go, you didn't go to house like... parties, but you hung out with delinquent comedians. Yeah, who were I went clearly way worse. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to wow. hang out with guys with records. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, were there like a but Was North Carolina scene kind of. There were there like sad like fifty year old men like giving you advice and shit. I'm sure that was a comedy. Give us the bad advice from the road. <laughs> yeah, guys. those are always. But the they best. were like my best friends. That was kind of actually is the real answer that, that those guys kind of became my like circle oh, of friends and like nice. I think especially because I was 16, it was everyone was like protective. Yeah, it was like having like 30 like older brothers or something. Like they were very like. Oh, they were I, like you know, good actually. Yeah, they were like oh, great. Okay. Like they're like oh, some damn. of my best friends. You don't hear still. a group of comics being good very often. No, I, I really lucked out. Yeah. yeah damn, that's crazy. Good yeah, because they were like for sure guys who like, but then there's also guys who were like down there still, but they're like putting out specials and stuff and like they right. were like. Oh, sweet. The, the scene there is like really cool. Oh, that's okay. That's not as funny, but I was like, I actually no, we, love we, them we and they're like, really cool. We'll take some charity for a minute or two. But then you went, to, you went to Chicago and like properly did like, uh, you had like a Chicago college experience, comedy and college wise. And then like, I do wonder about being in, tw being 23 in New York. Is that like, that's gotta be like crazy, right? It's like, it's, it's very like difficult. I feel like moving here at 30 was like, a pretty normal like life experience but like you like experiencing chicago to new york was that like mm. definitive at all because i actually have a question from a th that leads into a listener question oh nice chat. i was talking to adam <laughs> it's i'm fucking amazing at this. yeah you're killing it man I, I know how to care about somebody <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah find australia on a map you genius yeah, yeah. <laughs> just staring past his wife to a map naming countries <laughs> honey <laughs> i do see a map everywhere i go it's great it's cool Wait, oh, I was talking to Adam Gilbert about this actually. Yeah. That he, uh, like, I think it actually helps a little bit because I never got to be like know what it's like to like have any kind of like corporate job or like be comfortable with income oh. and then be like, now I gotta switch over to like really trying to do comedy. I'm like, well, you just go college 
to being broke doing comedy. Yeah. So I don't really know. Oh, you never had to have a forty hour a week job, really? No, I don't think I've ever. Wow, wow that's uh, that. I want to punch me. No, in the that's, that's you, stupid. You did the right call <laughs> going right into comedy. I, but it's like, like I just make very little money at it. But I've never had. You never made any more money, so it doesn't feel like a little money. Yeah, I didn't like, have to give anything up. You always made thirty k a year. That's your yeah, life. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Thirty k is generous. You, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, it is really sad when you think about. At it. At least you yeah. do your taxes, which I imagine. We can't doing. keep talking about that on the podcast. I really am actually starting to. That that is no longer a topic of conversation on this podcast. I, do, do I, do. I could. Oh, they, they could oh, the hammer could come down I any don't day. No, the capital of New Zealand. But I know how to file it. Actually, you can't even structure a jab at me. Alex is stupid because you didn't pay your taxes to fund his school. (laughs) Yeah, Um, that's probably no. But you've only been here for a year and a half, less than two years. I'm here for a couple months. Jeff has done two tours here now, just on his second try. Ha ha ha! (laughs) We love to talk about it. But the whole crew's here now. Uh, Yeah, Yeah, we made it. It was only at first. There's like a ton of. I had a question from Brian Back, the in Chicago. Oh yeah, manager of the Laugh Factory. Great guy. He said, "What's the most NYC shit you've experienced so far?" Most New York shit you've experienced so far, even like a little tidbit. A random dude, like the second week I was here, just like spit in my face and was like, "You fucking bitch!" And they just kept <laughs> no, walking. Oh, at and the train? Like, no, on just on the sidewalk. <laughs> Whoa! And kept walking, and I was like, I literally did like we. I have no idea what. I mean, I, he was mentally ill or something, but I was like, okay. You know, yeah. you just kind of go. Uh, somebody else, like wow. that same week, I was like sitting on like the edge of the subway where the, and the doors were opening, and someone came in and took a drink and just threw it at my face and then walked away. Yeah, I don't know took if a I drink of what. It, I that's the thing. I had contact lenses in, and it was like burning, and I was like, oh. Do you it, think it was an acid attack? For half a second, I was like, what? Because my face it was like burning, but it was just some like cleaning solution or something. He took a drink of it. I don't know if he, he had it in like a. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> he I don't spits know. it out of him. No, I don't know. He had it in like some styrofoam cup and then threw it on me. And every- <laughs> what's funny is that everybody else on the train, I was like, I was like, kind of freaking out and like pulling out my contacts. And I was like, can someone help me? And a guy just took a napkin and was like, like there nobody cares. Go. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah. It's just life goes on. No so, one gives a fuck about us. The it's- only like New York things have been bad. Things. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a cool thing. Yeah. No. I didn't like see someone play jazz in the park. Like yeah. <laughs> it was like I stepped in shit. It yeah. is true that there's uh, the weirdos. They are al- alive and not well, but they're alive <laughs> and they're around. Like they are really like there's there's way more than I think. Well, I they're throwing them all in the mental hospitals now. Really? They just came out and they said the cops can throw anyone they want into a mental hospital. Oh, that's now. horrible. That's like the oh, new, I did see that. That's, new yeah, protocol. that's like yeah. disgusting. Could be us. Clean up the streets. Could be us. Clean up the <laughs> streets. <laughs> You're not really, though. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. I mean, dude, sometimes I got to sit down. Sometimes I'm tired, you know. Sometimes those guys are just laying, laying full, fully <laughs> oh, no. across. No, it's bad. It's no. really sad. It's let, really sad. Let them lay down. At, at I will say, though, the, the benefit, though, of the city being so crazy <laughs> is that you're like, I can just go, I can cry on the subway. Because I have, like, roommates, so you can't oh, just, like, yeah. let it out in your room. Because everyone hears you. But on the subway, you're like... It's just a conveyor belt. Over, I'm never going to see these people again. Do you ever scream when it comes or leaves? You can just scream <laughs> when the train's coming. The and you can just coming? yell. You, no one will ever hear you. You yell as loud as you want. It's train very fun. I, I do it all the time. This is maybe my saddest like New York. And I, I love like singing along to music, but I can't do it with roommates and I don't have a car so it's like you don't but yeah. for 30 seconds in the elevator I'm like boop boop and then it stops again <laughs> it's like my oh, wow. one moment of like freedom that is true you're never alone <laughs> in New York that's true yeah the walls are so thin yeah. that's the hardest part about writing out here is you like, like I like to like kind of talk Talk I thought it would have been bed, your education level. Myself, <laughs> you're just never like you're just you can't like your roommates hear you. Someone else hears you. There's no. But like, you can just talk to yourself outside, though, too. No one cares. I walk, a I walk around talking to myself all the time. That's a good everyone point. Everyone just assumes you're crazy. And they're like, OK, another one. Yeah, but I was like, I, a- I rented a car this weekend and I was I talked out loud for the oh, whole six hour drive yeah. so much that like my voice was hoarse. And I was like, oh, yeah, I forget that. Like, that's so you can't fun. do this. And then you can do it again. And you're like. Oh my Did God. you even have music on or are you just yapping yourself? For parts of it, I was just, just it was just, just doing yapping. Stand up or I listened, what? N- no, just like I think hearing my thoughts for the first time in yeah, a year and a half. Right. And then like old like My Chemical Romance albums. Oh, when you yeah. get to like your hotel room in Ohio or whatever when you're on the road, it's kind of like one of the best feelings on the planet. Oh, when that just, nap yeah. when you get there at 2 p.m. You got like so four quiet, hours till the show. It's the only like, time I can take a bath. 
Like yeah. I have like an you old. You take a bath in those hotels. No, 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 oh God! <laughs> Actually, if it's probably nice, do that. dude, I would. If it's, an, if it's a nice one. Yeah, not like a Super Eight I, though. They I, always oh, have a yeah, bathtub. No. Well, I just never fit. In but you them take anyways, like a so. long shot. <laughs> I God, never that fit. is the tragedy of You're your like, life. Your whole movie, your whole life is the bath. movie Elf when he's in the North Pole <laughs> no, like, and he's in the shower, but he's like over the curtain, like. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Do it. Can I? Can I have that? That's really good. Can I like? Can yeah, I yeah write it down. Yeah, that's really good. Finally, some new tall material. You haven't talked I just about had, that. I, I just had that. I just had a new tall. That's bottle. good. You really have never fit in a bathroom, a bathtub before. Even like my one, like growing up, like yeah, I just I definitely. Oh grew my out god! Of, yeah. Wait, really? That's like, why you're every, so... every bath I've taken has been like, like really not fun. Because <laughs> like I remember when I was uh, when I first started playing uh, varsity basketball, and I was like good enough to be on the team as a freshman but i wasn't like as nearly as strong or as fast as these guys and like they were all like you know 18 or whatever but so i just practice would just like fucking wreck me because i just had i didn't have the muscles like to keep up with these guys oh yeah especially for like three hours or whatever so i would just go home that was like the first time i was like i gotta take a bath and like ice bath no i just took took a bath bath like in my uh you know, in my bathroom, and I just like was barely. I I had to take baths after most of my high school practice. <laughs> but you couldn't I, quite picturing, fit. But I couldn't fit. I'm picturing yeah. you like holding your knees, like no, rocking like, back no, and I, forth. I was picturing like yeah, like him with like cucumbers on his eyes and like soap, but the knees just up to the no, foot dude, ceiling. dude, dude, yeah, like, my feet were like dangling out. It was like really tough, but it was the only way I could just like fully. I fully knew how to like decompress after a break because I, I, I was totally out out of my league like phys- like physically have you ever fallen asleep in a bathtub uh no you that's scary yeah when that's i said that, I like, that sounds really dark because you but- wake up and you're like sliding into the water like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's so it? warm yeah, it's like being back in the womb yeah and you're i've like- fallen asleep in a bathtub it's a beautiful it's a great thing <laughs> i don't know how good they it's are like a i've never know i've never known how good God, it is. Really that's nice. why you're so on edge you've never had a bath <laughs> You've never been able to I take never a had nice a bath. bath. Yeah, I, I, no, I don't fit in that shit, dude. It sucks. <laughs> I don't fit it's on. It's not even for any toxic masculinity reason. You're like, I would love to. No, dude, and pla- <laughs> planes too. Like, it's just, it's you all. You never bad. had like a rubber ducky in the bathtub. You were too big. What the fuck is are you talking about? You like, never played in the bathtub as a kid. You were six feet when you were like three no, years yeah. old, right? Uh, well, no, I mean, I mean, but I, I have no memories of were like you always- really. Uh, no, I mean, I, I mean, I remember like maybe like. Like five or six being in a bathtub a couple times, but didn't take many. I mean, I remember sh- I, I was showering pretty early. I feel like. <laughs> Were you a tall kid? Yeah. Were you the tallest kid in your class every year? Or when did um, it start? When did your dominance begin? Uh, not until <laughs> when did so- your not- reign begin? When did your reign of terror not, <laughs> not until freshman year of high school. Oh, okay. You were but yeah, but, was, but like, but once you hit like six five, six six, dude, everything just like yeah, the, you know. Go to a baseball game. It's like this is gonna suck. This Go is a, a new form game. of discrimination you're talking about. This type of height. They don't is, consider that up. anyone's over six four for like most things. They don't make anything for you. Do getting in uh, Ubers like you Wait, know? Can I see all... how big your hand is? Yeah, sure. Bro, that I is crazy. Full, you got a whole digit a, a on her. Full knuckle yeah. joint above oh me. I don't know if we God. can see. It's like that's yeah. crazy. That is kind of insane. Wow. Do you um? Did you ever get stretch marks from growing so fast? Mm-mm, no. Oh damn! I remember a kid I grew up with. We like that one day he was wild, like, yeah. "What the fuck is going on on my back?" And we were like, "Did like we were like you got like attacked in your sleep or something?" Because it's just you get stretch but, marks from growing too fast. I think if I you grow faster incredible. than your skin oh. can like expand, you can like yeah, or from like gaining weight and stuff. You the can, like, bones are just like we're going, and the skin <laughs> just can't dude, keep up. Dude, when we That's had awesome. when we had the winter winter break, my freshman year, I grew like. Two or three inches, I know for sure. Over be- winter break, in like three weeks. Yeah, well, it was like over four weeks because that was that was like the one t- that was the one month of that year or whatever th- where you could like sleep in until when you, know, you could sleep <laughs> until whenever. I was sleep. I was sleeping. The second you start sleep, I was Whoa. sleeping. You think from- that's why you were getting that- because it made you tired that you were growing so fast? I do. No, I was sleeping like 12, 13 hours a day for three or four weeks. Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying that because you finally got to sleep, your body was able oh, to like, grow. I kind of believe that. Yeah, because that's I, I, crazy. I, I really, I kind because I was, I remember being like, damn, I'm fucking tired a lot. But then, and then like, dude, that winter break, I literally went from. 511 to 62 and then I went Oh from, my god. After that year I got to like by the end of that year I was like 64 then my senior my sophomore year I was 66. It wow. would be so interesting to have like like the questions that you guys quiz each other on and like stuff like that like how like have a guest that's like a scientist. <laughs> oh, it would be nice to have some fact checking because <laughs> yeah. I oh, yeah. don't think sleeping longer made you gain 3 inches. But but why why so. would I go from sleeping 7 hours a night 
I think you to, slept like, longer because your literally... body was tired, and that's why you slept longer. But don't you have the cause and the effect the wrong way. But then in your sleep, I yeah, I feel yeah, I feel like I'm not walking around grow. Like, oh, growing. this is a good question. Do you grow more a single night of sleep? Of no sleep, but over long term, a person's growth may be affected by not getting the full amount of sleep. Okay, that's well, this the, is the but growth hormone. But I think it's oh, sleep. growth hormone is released during sleep. Okay. How how how, okay. how does that not feasible to you? Like I, how is I, that I, not, like how does that not fucking add up to you? It kind of makes sense. There's no way. There, what do you mean? There's no. What do you mean? There's no so you, way. So you just think kids should just if you want to be a basketball player, just sleep a lot? Well, of course think, not. But like if I, I haven't, was, if you haven't hit your fucking max height, of course sleeping helps. I don't think. I don't think the longer you sleep, the more you're gonna grow. But if your body's trying to grow, you probably okay. have to sleep to make it happen, right? When you're sick, you you sleep to feel better. These are all like things that, that makes make sense. sense. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to sleep more now because it's like, like it makes you tired to like have a big body? To be big. <laughs> I, I also, dude, I believe, dude. Uh, I remember uh, when I was I was visit I was dating this girl long distance. I was in Chicago. And I would visit her here in New York. I remember she like wanted, she like jammed our, the schedule, like, all the shit. We're gonna go to this like museum. We're gonna go walk here. We're gonna go walk here. I remember on like the third day, just being like, "Man, I'm kind of tired from like all this walking around." And she's like, "How are you tired? I'm not that tired." I was like, I- "I'm like way bigger than you." So like, I'm t- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I was like, I'm big as shit." Like, how are you not? I was like, "This is just how it goes." We for are me. I not like, the same. I I kind of <laughs> believe that, dude. I think oh, I think the, like the the Great Dane thing. Like, I'm just a big. <laughs> Your heart's gonna give out. It's yeah. true. You, I, I actually did look this up. Every inch above like six three, you lose a couple years of your life. I looked it up Whoa. recently because it's just Je- more. Jeff was pumped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like, say, yeah. Eh, talk about a good Thanksgiving. Finally, <laughs> I finally, I finally had a good run. Wait, so you're like, what six four? I'm six six. six. You're six. six. Oh wow, you're you are over a, giant. a foot taller than me. That's crazy. That yeah, crazy. I mean, I, pr- I probably got to sixty five, sixty. 60 i mean with technology hopefully 70 yeah well, you yeah you only think you're gonna live to 65 that's I, so young yeah but I mean, with, that's like with climate young, change right? you, none of us are making it to 65 <laughs> so that's a that's great best time to be yeah six, it's the six. best time to be <laughs> six, <laughs> it's the best six. time to be <laughs> six, six your head will be above water the longest <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you guys the ice caps good. don't bother you at all <laughs> no. you'll just be waiting in the water yeah, this is the best time ever <laughs> that yeah. is true <laughs> you're like i can finally take a bath when yes. the Florida goes under <laughs> Okay. There we go. God, we should build a bath for you. That should be a Patreon goal. Get a bath big enough for Drago. Guys. Put some rose petals in there, some candles. Let the man enjoy a bath. Yeah, there, is there a big and tall bath? <laughs> plus, size Come, bath. plus size bath. Ten extra. But they're lo- probably. Dude, I would. Oh, okay. That's a, some of those are tall. Some of them are wide. Because it probably depends on why you need it. If it's a weight thing or a height oh, thing. Oh, true, true. Oh, they might. You might just need a hot tub. Yeah, they you just got these thought of a hot tub. <laughs> Pouring soap into a hot tub. Are you fifty nine inches? Can we go inches? long? Can we go long bath? Maybe yeah. eighty <laughs> incher. There's bath. an eighty incher right there. That's, That's huge. That's twelve thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, we might yeah. not get to that on the Patreon, but yeah. man, that would be good. Oh, individuals over six five and two fifty pounds. There mm. you go. Wow. If they want a little extra plunging space, or a couple's go. bath, and then use it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I just, would love to get you a big and tall bathtub. I need to relax. <laughs> this is why you never, you can't relax. I can't. Do you, chill. Have you always needed a king size bed? Uh, dude, I'll tell you this, this is a story. Okay. I don't think I ever told you this about I don't the know. the uh, the ex before Squeeze. Remember? Sque- oh, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Are these she, code names? Or yeah, we, yeah. we don't say their names. We okay. say Georgia. She had uh. Her uh, roommate was gone during most of like 2020 and 2021. Right. And it got to a point where, it, so she was basically living alone and she had this full size bed. And she was like, I was like, I would like go in and out. Like, I would like go in and out of sleep a lot in her bed when I would stay over. Eventually, she had a really nice place. So I just started like, you know, middle of the night, I just go to her couch, dude. Her couch, I could fit on her couch. It was huge. You can't sleep next to someone? It's a, Jeff, I'm, what do you not get about what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a full size bed. Oh, Jeff. I thought that was the what extra bed. What are you not bed? following? Right okay. Now? I, is, it's a full. Is that the smallest size? No, the small size is a twin, but of course she doesn't have a twin. She's or, you oh, know, it's a full. Okay, it's a full. So, so your I don't knees th- are just bent. Whenever yeah. You sleep. So like I so so like that. my like God. shins were like were falling off the the bed. Okay, and so she could. So like I was. I'm picturing you at like 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 an ostrich baby like in utero. Yeah. I'm literally, like, like, I literally was like folded so up. So event. Like, yeah. So like after <laughs> literally, <laughs> you once, you literally, literally curled after, up like a fetus on I'm, the bed. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. after like four or five months of dating, I was like, I was just started sleeping on her couch, and she was like, I don't want you to sleep on my couch anymore. More. that's kind of weird 
I was like, I know it's weird, but you got, I mean, obviously we weren't going to go to my fucking comedy compound that often if we were going to be staying at <laughs> yeah, your So place. I was like, so I was like, you know, fucking, if you want, like get a queen. I don't care. I was like, I was like, but I like the couch. It's not a big deal to me. She got a fucking queen like Dang, two weeks later. And, that's why you uh, stayed with her. You never told wow. me this. Great this gal. So she bought much. a bed to fit you. Kind, Dang. basically, yeah. Dang. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Whenever she lays in that bed, she thinks of you. Uh, Every I don't time. think so. I, I don't bet. Think not anymore. She's like, all this space for Alex. I doubt it. <laughs> it was I doubt all for yeah. when his little feet used to dangle off the edge. Dude. Oh, yeah, wow. my size 15s. My <laughs> tiny size 15s. Size yeah. 15 feet? God, no, but she damn. was like, I remember it was kind of funny when she was like, I didn't believe that like your foot like hung off that much until I went to the bathroom and she's like, and then uh, I saw like your shins were hanging off. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I know. Like they were. I wasn't sleeping in her bed. People for don't three talk months. about this shit about tall people. You got to yeah. expose the the downsides of being tall. Isn't there a thing that it's like more? I could be totally wrong, but I think there's a like a thing that was like it's more expensive to be tall over a lifetime just because it adds up like literally the cost of like a, a bigger bed or like oh probably more food's calories, a big part of it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wait, how many? Do you know how many calories you eat in a day? Nah, not not. I don't eat a ton. It would be honestly. an insane question to ask anybody, but I feel like since you were a student athlete, I was like, maybe you're. You kind of. I, I, kind of I, I, mo I mostly just count the carbs. To be honest, I try to like mm. stay. I I try to like stay away from like less than like fifty or sixty carbs a day if I can. Probably less or less than like yeah eighty. If Tall I can. people should be paid more. <laughs> you should start that campaign. Probably already so have. They already do. They you already probably do. are being paid more. If I yeah. gave a fuck about my professional, like corporate, if I if I got into like the corporate life, I would be such a, I'd be so much better off. <laughs> it, it rewards tall people so well. I should have gone into fucking sales. And oh, fucking... are we having an existential crisis? <laughs> what on am the I do? What am I doing <laughs> oh, with the with, uh, with these pe with these normal sized people? <laughs> I could have been selling uh, medical devices. You could have been the CFO of Groupon. By I could have now. been selling printers <laughs> and gotten a fucking bath for me. And gotten a bath. You could have a twelve thousand dollars soaking tub, right? I could, oh be, my God. I could be soaking Would with you? sluts. And now you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm with you guys talking about what my life could have been. You could get you surgically shortened. You could. Yeah. You never. Yeah, women like get their breasts knocked off. You could knock off a couple inches, Height take reduction. it out of your shins or yeah, whatever. But, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Thighs to take feet. a little, take a little bone out of there. I'm, yeah. di I'm dying early, anyways. You I'm not gonna a, knock off this. You need this a, size like now. a knee to ankle adapter. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> dude, we've talked. I think we decide how tall you're gonna be each day. <laughs> I think we've talked about this before, dude. Like it really being like six six after thirty. Probably, probably even more stuff so to thirty five is not the best. Yeah, thing your advantages are dwindling. I think you're still on top now, but come thirty five, I'm in the lead. Again. It's like who cares? Yeah, who gives a shit how matter. tall you are? It's like your body's just. It's not worth being this tall when my everything aches. Once you're you know? hunched over and you can't keep your back straight anymore. Oh, dude, it's gonna be I brutal. Can't wait for the decline. When I get plates <laughs> in my knees, dude, it's over. Oh, the yeah. dream is done. But Maddie's on the pod with us. <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> I'm tiny. I got tiny feet. Yes, I'm vertically dude. tiny. Five you, six. What, what are the? Are what you in a full or a queen? I'm five three. I think oh, I'm wow. five two, five three around Jesus. there. Yeah, that's uh, solid. and you said I'm sorry. No, I said it's solid. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, but I have like a I have a queen bed. I think that's nice. I have a lot of room. You gotta have a queen, dude. Yeah, it's you gotta have a queen. A fucking full. It, it really is not. What it. were you thinking? Yeah, Georgia, <laughs> Georgia. Wow. Um, I mean, if let's, let's do it. Let, let's switch gears with another question from the listeners. From the listeners, oh, what do another, they got? Because we got another great comic on here. I think this is a an apt question. Uh, Maddie, Jeff, what is what is your guys' pre show routines? If you have any, huh. I think that's interesting. That's a good huh. question. You got I, one, Drago? I do. I do actually eat a. I eat a Cliff Bar most times on the way to a show. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Isn't that I, I, weird? It's not that weird. It's just I like. I almost and sometimes <laughs> it's pretty not weird at all. <laughs> like it was like. And you sometimes know, I, you like. Well, this is pretty fucking nuts. But no, I have a granola I, no, bar. Like Hemingway it's killed a dove or something. Yeah. Like, I ate a Cliff no, Bar. No, it's like yeah. specifically like I sometimes, especially if it's like sometimes if it's a more important show, I'll be like, I gotta have that Cliff Bar. What before. flavor are you getting? Uh, the peanut butter banana. Yeah, that's a good one. Peanut butter banana is 
fire. Yeah, Cliff bars are amazing. I'll, oh, I'll the white macadamia that. nuts really good Very too. Very good. Okay, not bad. I usually sit in my hotel about an hour before and I listen to Learning to Fly by Tom Petty about four or five times. <laughs> Do you really? I lay in my bed. That I just, so good. God, I just turn it so on on-brand. and just listen to Learning to Fly. It's the greatest song ever recorded. <laughs> it's a really I, I will say that. That's the best song anyone's ever recorded. I love it. And that's how I get hyped. That opening riff I is do. so good. Dude. And I think of a lo- I Google the name of the town I'm in, and I think of a little riff about it. Mm. Uh, you got to wick. I wiki the town. <laughs> Learn about. <laughs> don't, and- don't you love like like imagining uh, Jeff in his hotel room bed? And all is he's, he's, you're kind of like sl- like you have that kind of like that slow hum to yourself, or you're thinking about it, you're just like. Mm. Like, thinking, <laughs> like, thinking, like my um, brain's getting revved up um, like it's worrying Dibu, come on there's hot air coming out of your ears like a computer fan Dibu, come on. i just learned the name of the mayor that's what i do that's the cheat code don't you guys hate tom nickel no way <laughs> i always learn the name of the mayor God. People people love, like, they get, always know they love it it's, that's it's so the, funny sa- fail safe what, what do you, you do man? i don't have like a good like pre-show ritual really i always like even if I'm doing the same set as the night before, I have to like write it out again usually. Yeah. Because oh, I yeah. think like the process of like actually writing it is like remembering. Yeah. It, yeah. But I, like on the road, I've like been trying to like go to like if there's like a like a local little museum that isn't anywhere oh, else, nice. or like trying to do like little things that are only in that town. Only in that town, Drago. That's something I've been telling you. I think you should only go to Jimmy eat John's. at local places. Yeah, Drago <laughs> just wants to go to Jimmy John's wherever you I go. Love G- I, dude, oh, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is a pre, as like a pre-show meal. At like that sounds o'clock. horrible. Yeah, it's I can't so eat good. before a show. I don't eat, and I can't drink coffee because I'll like yeah. I have it too. I Jimmy John's at four p.m. Absolutely right. The, 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 someone will be like, oh, there's a diner down the street. It's 135 years old. And Drago's like, ah, oh, we'll probably go to Jimmy John's. You oh know, God. A bootlegger club on wheat. Hold the tomato. Thank you very much. No tomato? <laughs> no, thanks. Oh, you're brutal. Tomato's whack. <laughs> oh, my God. Tomato on You're just stuff. going in on the tomato after five billion years. You're saying the tomato's whack. What's it good on? Everything. Subway sandwich. A subway. A Jimmy I've been John's. getting the same subway you, order since I was in fourth grade. How often you wow. go to Subway, dude? Yeah, I don't go to Subway. That's disgusting. Really? Uh, it's, yeah. That's like my go-to road trip really? food. Yeah. Oh, I Ooh, find it really Maddie, disgusting. Maddie, Maddie, that's Maddie, Maddie, a bad. Maddie, Maddie. People judge me. That's Is really it, bad. It's worse than like McDonald's. What's your order? Yeah, it's the worst. Oh, fast I'm about food. to like. I'm about to like get. Yeah. Mad. Okay. I think All Subway's right. the worst. No, fast judge food. me. Judge me, so lest ye it's be so judged. The tuna, I, if you get tuna, the pod's over. The pod, we I are, get, we're terminating. <laughs> it's really And over. we're never releasing this. Here's yeah. what I fucking get. I get like salami, pepper jack cheese, okay. lettuce, tomato, onion, mustard, right. and black pepper. Okay, and I have that's it cold. actually really good. That's a really it's good It's actually order. delicious. Thank that, you. Salami is a great meat. I'll, it's really good. Of the, of the, uh, Subway is piss. the lowest Thank form you, of feminists. what bread do you get? <laughs> <laughs> do you get like a wild yeah. bread? No, I just go. I just go Italian bread. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Could have gone herb, herb and cheese. I'll I'll defend sub. I mean, I it's, it's really it's good. Get it cold. Yeah, I get it cold. It's in always the saddest places. That's the thing. Subway just. Has no <laughs> yeah, they're bad at like location. Did I tell you my subway story? I was doing a, a like a one nighter outside. My subway story. Uh, <laughs> outside of Champagne. It was like one of those like oh, sad areas. Oh, I thought areas. you were talking about the tunnel room. And, and, I, and I walked up and I uh, I go and it was like this like you know college kids like working at it and like uh, and they're like and they're like, uh, they're like, uh, they're like, uh, they're like 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 they <laughs> I was like, what? That's like one of the flagship sandwiches. Yeah, she's like, she's like, yeah, just you guys just started. I don't know. I was like, I think it's like right behind you. Actually, <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure it's like I don't know. So I had to like walk. I walked with it, like you know, we kind of just like I was like, yeah, I think, you know, she's like, yeah, that looks right. She's like, and I was like, yeah, oh yeah, the God. the ham, the salami, the you had to just build your own. Yeah, BMT. yeah. I was like, no, I think that's right. I was like, yeah, she's like, yeah. It was oh very like God. odd, but. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's that was. Sad. A, yeah, that's sad. I, I I rarely go. To, there's a subway next to me in uh, in Bushwick. It pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about Wait, I wouldn't Bushwick. I go to one in New York. Yeah, at Drago. No. Do you? Where do you? What neighborhood do you live? I'm in, in Crown Heights. You're in Crown Heights. Great neighborhood. Drago I love Crown Heights. hates Bushwick. Really? You, are you pro Bushwick or anti Bushwick? I Maddie? feel like Bushwick is. I would fit in there. Yeah, it's similar to Crown Heights. It's a I mean, I'm like. Vibe. Yeah. Oh I, yeah, you you'd be perfect. In yeah, Bushwick. Little, yeah, little she they. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah, I'll, they, I'll do just fine. But yeah. what what's it been like for you in Bushwick? He hates it. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I, I mean, say I got I got my roommates are awesome. I honestly like how close I am to like man. I, I live, live right off the L, which is great. Literally fifty feet. 
Yeah, but uh, man, some of these people <laughs> really. What are, do you mean? There are a lot of lost souls out there. In oh Bushwick. yeah, you found it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not like Drago. It's godless people. <laughs> it's godless. It's lawless and godless. Oh my god, you haven't been to church in and 20 everyone's years. ugly. <laughs> <laughs> do you go to church when you're back home, Maddie? Were you raised religious? I was raised like culturally Jewish, but like I, I think my parents are both like. Wait, it you wasn't just, like you a didn't real religion. celebrate yeah. like Passover. No, no, we Hanukkah. did the holidays oh, did? and we did oh. like we did like Shabbat dinner every Friday. Like oh. there was, oh wow, we were really in it when I was growing up, but it was never like a super god thing. It was just like because that's the tradition. Yeah, 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 it was just like this is our family and the history and the Shabbat culture. is awesome. I love I, Shabbat's yeah. a great tradition. It's really cool, and I like the food, like the challah and stuff is great. Thank you, Drago. Hates food, Jewish food. food. Stinks, no offense. <laughs> he always <It's>... stinks. <laughs> <laughs> You're so wrong. Could not like, be more. is really good. Well, okay. Here's like the most like goyish thing about me is I do like you know matzah. Oh yeah, matzah's but, great. But the whole you know the idea of matzah, like the no leaven bread, no yeast or whatever. And it's supposed yeah. to be like, oh, leave in Egypt, you're suffering. It's supposed to be anything. like, look yeah. at this disgusting bread to remind you of how awful it was. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm like putting butter and jelly on it, like. <laughs> <laughs> Great little cracker. Culture. Yeah, I know. It's like so wrong to eat it for fun. You're suffering. But You're just appropriating good. their suffering. Yeah. yeah that's beautiful. <laughs> appropriating my own. Your yeah, own yeah. cultural suffering. Yeah. yeah. That's great. But. I do like matzah. Matzah's great. <laughs> okay. But no, but yeah, we, we grew up Jewish. I, but I stopped believing in God like pretty, we went, I went to like a, like private school for like kindergarten. Like a I was in LA. Hebrew school? Yeah. No, not like just for like, like kindergarten. The whole school was. Yeah, it was like a Jewish school. Oh, okay, school, yeah, right, right. And they were like telling us about God and stuff, and I was like- You were out at kindergarten not... already? Well, I do want to ask this, Yeah, actually. I was like, this doesn't seem right. And then I went to a public school, and I was like, oh, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> like, kindergarten, first grade, I was like, for sure, no way, that's you, not- You've got wow. a pretty, like, positive and upbeat disposition about you. Do you did you ever have, like, a uh, like a rebellious phase? Were you ever, like, <laughs> did you ever, were you ever, like, kind of a shithead ever? Because I, you're very, <laughs> she like- She started comedy at 16. Well, you were, yeah. you're very amicable and, like, oh, and uh, affable. I think people, like, really like hanging out. But, like- oh, thanks. I feel like you can tell with that Jeff it tells his mom to shut up uh, when when he was younger. Yeah, because you I, tell everyone I say that. And, uh, I tell her to not every, talk so much. And everyone knows okay. that. But were you? I mean, yeah. What was your? Were you ever like? No, my parents it, are my best friends. No, actually, I like we. I don't think I was really like a problem teenager. I had like an intense like emo scene. Dye oh. my hair fade. Like I went to my friend's house and came back and I had like. You're like, bye, mom. Swoosh. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was like, thanks for dropping me off. And then like came back like blue swoosh, shaved like sides blue of my head. Blue swoosh. What yeah, does like, that mean? It was like we. I sh like my friend, they shaved like the back and sides of my head, but then left blue. Like oh, I mean, it was wow. bad. But what my, age? This was middle school. Oh, you weren't doing comedy like that. No, were you? no, no, oh, my, no, no. Wow. But I had I, my. I dyed my hair like nine different colors. Like Holy it was like shit. a bunch. But my parents were like. I guess that could have gotten me in trouble, but then they were like, all right, it'll grow back. Do whatever you want. Oh, so you to their cool credit, parents. Like, yeah, I had great super parents. cool okay, parents that were yeah. like, basically like, like, if you're not hurting yourself, we don't really care. Like, do whatever. Okay. Like, dye yeah, your be, hair, being, you know. Being into emo for the, like, aesthetic and just because it, just it was, like, popular at the time. And because I was having, like, a full a full on mental breakdown. There was that, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you had but a it was a mental breakdown oh, at 13? For, yeah, in, like, middle school, I had, like, a full on mental breakdown. And, like, but then I, I went to therapy and got meds. Yeah, you got it out of the way early. Yeah, That's yeah. That's kind of good. It's kind of like my life just got shifted up. Everything. I should have, like, had, like, a mental breakdown in, like, my mid 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And started right. comedy, but that just happened. In middle school, and then Drago's in the middle of one right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can I yeah. recommend some emo albums? That oh. might <laughs> Dude, absolutely. Yeah, but was, were you into like brand new and all that? I was like My Chemical Romance, oh, was, like the big sure. one, like Paramore, Blink One Eighty Two. Oh yeah, yeah. I was big into. Like, I mean, there's Welcome some... to the Black Parade. That's an album. It's That's so a great good. album. It's so like Teenagers, Avril Lavigne. I guess Avril oh, Lavigne's yeah. more like pop, pop. I don't know, but Avril like, Lavigne's rock. Yeah, because like, uh, uh, but she she's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, one of the staples of like emo music is kind of like shit on their parents and you're like screaming about it you're like but i like my mom <laughs> you're like, yeah yeah you're like, yeah yeah your mom like mom put on this album i promise it's not about you <laughs> that is okay drag oh, so nice. it's it, it's interesting that like that was such a big thing that people who had good relationship with their parents were still like just being like i don't know in, into that angsty and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
Being angsty, were you you weren't angsty? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh were yeah. Were you religious at that point? Like when did you? I was yeah in high school. I was pretty religious. Not like yeah. I I believed in God. Yeah yeah for sure. I didn't want to be gay. <laughs> then I didn't. Then, I didn't Are think you... that was right. <laughs> have and you I... have you abandoned God? Nah, I've abandoned like picking a religion. But I think there's a mm. God. There's a higher power, but. I think it's kind of dumb to pick a team, but <laughs> it, like, but you can only see the world the way you were raised. So I still always see it through Christian eyes. Mm. Which oh is cool. wow! Yeah, pretty deep. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, you little bitch! Oh my god, I fucking hate your little Serbian church. Your little knockoff. My grandpa was a church. My grandpa was a priest. Yeah, you, there's no one in the Serbian church is going to heaven. I will tell you that they <laughs> they strayed so far from the true path. That is Maddie going to heaven? Yeah, Jews well. are good. They're the original path. They're the Thank original you. path. The Serbians are like a knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff of a knockoff. Isn't, so far off. Isn't the there path. a fundamental like break between Jews and? What? Okay, that's a good. This that is a good question Jesus. for this week. What do you? Oh, should damn. we settle the beef right now? For yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did the Jews kill Jesus? <laughs> no. no. But, no, but I think the belief. I don't know because I'm now. I'm not like really. Oh, so, no, it's that Jesus anybody. is the Messiah. Well, yeah, yeah the Messiah. Think... But the big beef is that Christians say Jewish people killed Jesus. That's oh, where anti-Semitism just... comes, and because they don't believe he's the Messiah, but they killed him because they don't believe he's the Messiah. So I guess oh. it's the same thing. Yeah, that's what they called Jews Jesus killers. They always said that's what they called. They did them. not tell me about this growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I was not aware. Oh, I'm sure Kanye will have something about that. Oh, it comes full circle. Oh, fine. Shut fine. the fuck we can, up. We can talk. Tell me one thing about the Serbian church. I actually know nothing about it. Well, they're so old that they actually originally uh, didn't have pews. And so well, you stand up the whole time. You stand up pretty much Whoa. the whole time. There's only they're like so wonder... old they didn't have wood. <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> they couldn't hack that's a like, bench that's out like, of a tree. That was like one of the pillars of the of the church. What's, or one of the <laughs> one of the... what's the like architecture of the church like? Because I went to like an old church in uh in Pittsburgh this weekend. I was like walking around oh. and I went in and it was like so beautiful. I was like, oh, I get why this like beautiful. makes people. Yeah. believe in god like the light was coming in and i was oh, like I wow this yeah those is... are is it like the great like, like the gilded gold like onions isn't that kind of eastern, like... eastern orthodox traditionally has like it has like a lot of icons like kind of oh, like yeah. throughout even like on the ceilings on the sides it's like it's like, like saints I, and stuff it's like icon heavy with saints yeah yeah, yeah. Right. and um yeah they usually you stand the whole time i have time. a saint christopher necklace on oh but you're jewish i know but i got it because did you ever see that netflix show dark no, this is so embarrassing. Think, no, this is really nerdy, but it. it's like a German time travel sci-fi show. Oh, it's show. like really complicated, right? Yeah, and yeah. then Saint Christopher, I believe, is like the patron saint of like travelers. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's it's so complicated. You got to like take notes, but it's all this like time travel stuff. And they give her a necklace, and I was like, "That's a pretty cool necklace." And so now, I, when I, I wear it on the road, and my little like anxious, superstitious thing, I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah how are you flying? You how are you on flying?" I've okay. been renting a lot of cars. Oh, you don't like flying that much? No, oh, I just really like road trips, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm fine flying. Driving is great. I'm yeah. Not, yeah, I'm not the great. The train, you got to go the train. Amtrak, Amtrak fucking is rocks. the best. Amtrak's great. I love Amtrak. They, they have big enough seats for you, Drago. That's the one place that respects they do. you. They do. Oh, and you can get the worst grilled cheese of all time. You ever oh, had an the, Amtrak grilled the cheese? The Amtrak cafes Ooh. are wild. It's like microwaved because the bread is like soft, but like rubbery. It's like so weird. It's kind of fun though, in a little <laughs> bit. It's kind the of fun. The views are so pretty. Oh, I love the train. Absolutely. I, I always get the cheese platter, but that's for me. There's a cheese platter. Oh like yeah, a they charcuterie got charcuterie board. Yeah, it's like a bad charcuterie board. <laughs> yeah, for like ten bucks. I got to fly flirt first class yeah. the other day. <laughs> really? First time. They just upgraded me out of nowhere. That's good. You well, got you get a free drinks. I didn't free know alcohol. That. Yeah, I, wow. I got a drink before. I had like three drinks. I was hammered at two p.m. when I Jesus. landed in Indy. It's great. Dang. You got a, I got a charcuterie board, a bunch of I food. Would have, yeah, I would take was, full advantage of that. It was they, out of nowhere. They would full on regret doing that for me. I, I was, was the only person to order a drink. Pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one. I was at 10 a.m. and I was ordering a whiskey on the rocks. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> why not? It was a great time. That's why I was, I, my family, like, we went to London at one point and, like, like it was like our one like big trip and I was like old enough to legally drink over there but not back in the States. So we were oh, in the airport right. at 8 a.m. and I was like, last drinks just for the, you know, hell of it. And my mom was like, it was so concerned. She was like, you're drinking at 8 a.m. And I was like, yeah, but because we're going to be in another country and I can't. And that's the only time you really went after it drinking? I was yeah. going to say, wow. you, you've never seemed like a big partier in the I've times I've known I've you. I've never been 
more than like had more than maybe three drinks. Like I don't think I've ever really been like drunk. I've been like tipsy. It's but, kind like, of an amazing way to live your life, honestly. It's, I think that's great. <laughs> yeah. I can never go giving, back now, but if I would have never done of, it. Giving yourself those kind of boundaries is very yeah, healthy. I wish we would have been taught that. Yeah, I just went on a four day bender for my thirty first birthday. So that's, so that's what I'm dealing with. Oh, happy birthday! I'm truly, oh, thank you. dude. I'm not, I'm truly cooked, dude. Like I, uh, my friend uh, also got last minute uh, tickets for the Nets Celtics last night. I went from Thursday all the way went to Philly with my friends and then came back and did the game last. I'm like fucking dead right Damn. now, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. tough, man. That yeah. you made all those choices. Tough that life that you. I partied that hard. Not to yeah. brag, but I've never been hungover in my life. That's the and win. I'm like, I, I'm fine, never feeling that feeling. That yeah. sounds horrible. It's the worst feeling, but being drunk is the best feeling. So <laughs> yeah, they do cancel out. It they is do a, cancel out. You yeah, especially when you get older, it like ruins your next like day, but mm. full on day. Yeah, it does. But I'm yeah. on Prozac. They tell you not to drink on Prozac. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, and everyone that is like. What do you mean? You'll just get more drunk. And I'm like, no, the bit I was trying to do this a bit. Nobody likes it. Yeah. Nobody's on board with it. But that it I it makes sense because if you're taking a drug to like stop your inhibition so that you don't kill yourself, you right. shouldn't take a drug that's like, do the first thing that comes to your <laughs> yeah, mind. It's yeah. like yeah. we've that established knife to your wrist. Yeah. 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 Budweiser. Like, yeah. I don't have a brain that should be like let off the leash. Right. Like let's you, keep the you leash. You bought a leash. You yeah. you need the leash. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, that I would rock. I used to mix antidepressants and alcohol in college. Yeah, I got Ooh. really drunk. Really when did you get on antidepressants? Like sophomore, junior year. And I would take like double when I knew we were going out to party. Right. So then I get drunk quicker. Oh my God. I was going to say, they're it's not, not good. I would not recommend that. <laughs> had a are, lot you still, of fun. are you still on them? <laughs> no, I stopped doing it. They made me too sleepy. Yeah. I, just, I was just like, okay, I'm just happy for fewer hours of the day now. Yeah. I just sleep 14 hours. I'm like, how does this make me happy? Really? Wow. And then I feel bad about not doing anything and it didn't make me any happier. Wow. Oh, Drago, wow. I would, you should, God, you need antidepressants. You think so? Oh yeah, you're the saddest you're boy like I've ever seen. a jumbo pill from like the M and M store <laughs> or something. <laughs> you have to dissolve it yeah. in like a big gallon jug. Did you yeah. Making a stew in a bathtub. You have to put it in there. <laughs> that's what you use a normal size bathtub for. Yeah, that's yeah. A, we're gonna put pill. it in this loaf of bread. Just like... <laughs> you have to hide it like a dog in a block of cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grounding oh. it up and sprinkling it in with cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, I could. I could. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it. I would. I would. I think six months on antidepressant could be open doors for you. They're pretty life changing. I took yeah. a Xanax once. Uh, <laughs> Not even remotely the same, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, with, I abused drugs once. <laughs> I, I, oh, cool. I, I had it with wine. It was like one of the best highs in my oh, life. Oh, I dude. bet. I never actually have done Xanax, but what did it feel like? Um. Xanax with wine, I felt like relaxed and kind of sleepy, but not too sleepy. It was like it was the all, probably the most relaxed I've been um, I, that I can remember. Probably really, I, that'd be fun if there was a restaurant that paired pills with wine for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna want to have that Percocet with a Chardonnay, <laughs> <laughs> dude. It was truly amazing. This was grown amazing. in France in the 1780s, and this was grown in Indiana in a basement last week. <laughs> yeah. A guy with no GED made this. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We are we are coming up on 50. Just we got on we 50 wind minutes. This, down. this is a question. Okay. Okay, well, this is a question. This is where we test Drago's historical knowledge. Maddie, you can chime in. But let's oh, see this is what I was scared of. I'm going to embarrass myself. I just thought of this one oh, right dude. now because oh, as everyone knows, we're recording this podcast on December 5th. A historic moment in American history happened in a couple days, Alex. December 7th, 1941. Do you know what happened that day? I actually wasn't going to ask you that, but... What do you, what ha what do you think happened December seventh? I'm 90. training for this. I started reading the Wikipedia what happened on this day thing like oh, every day because I'm like I gotta know. That's a good. But I don't know this one. Do you? Do we? 1941, uh, December seventh, huge day in America. Top five day in American history. Do we declare war? Uh, World War Two? Didn't World War Two start? That is actually true. But why did we declare war? What's the big event that happened? Pearl Harbor. Yeah. What happened? What happened on Pearl Harbor? That's really why I wanted to know. We got uh. The air raid, the Japanese air raid, they bombed us. Yes. In uh, Hawaii. Okay. It's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot there was a movie. If there's a movie about it, you knew it. No, God damn it. I forgot Hollywood made a Josh Hartnett movie about it. It's fucking it. awesome. Wasn't dude. it a really long movie, too? 
Like uh, it was like I think four so, yeah. hours long. Have you heard Mark Mark Maron's joke about that? Who is, he's a whole Josh... bit about how much he hates the movie, and he's like arguably worse than the attack itself. <laughs> oh wow! Oh yeah, Cuba Gooding Old Journey. Mark Maron. Josh Ooh. Hart. Wait, when did Pearl high. Harbor come out? Two thousand one. Damn. Right after nine eleven, it made a lot no, of money. Before nine eleven, it's directed oh, by Michael Bay. May two. That's really? so funny. Oh, I can't see the day. Oh May. Twenty four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> Do you think Michael Bay cares that none of his movies get critical respect, or he's just laughing all the way to the bank? I yeah, mean, what's Michael Bay's billionaire. net worth? I bet he, yeah. What's his net worth? I bet it's high, five hundred million. I bet. I mean, he's made five hundred million. Okay, wow. exactly. Wow. Yeah. Wait, Michael Bay's hot? That's a hands dude. Really? Holy That's shit! That's what Michael Bay looks like. He's so Damn. hot. Uh, Holy yeah. fuck! Wow. <laughs> Michael Bay in a blue oh fur vest. I love that. He's like really attractive. Wait, he's like one of the hottest mu- movie directors I've ever seen. That is a real shocker. That's his wife? Oh, no, that's Megan Fox. Okay, never mind. But <laughs> you Google still. a Michael Bay <laughs> wife real quick. I, I just got to see. His wife? You can't make- Can we look up Michael Bay's wife before yeah, we log Yeah, we need off? to go. This, this has is to a be a final great. thing. Michael Bay wife. He's not, not married. married. He previously dated a sportscaster. I'm sure she's look at yeah, these women he, he's been with. Yeah, he can't stop fucking. Oh, and his wife. Oh he my just can't, god. I mean, why would you get married? I might love Michael, but like he might Holy be a cool shit. guy. Yeah, he might not be. Not married, oh, no kids, okay. just living yeah. off yeah. five hundred million. These are all the women he's dating. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, why would? Why would? Yeah, Good women for love Bay. Transformers, Armageddon, Pearl Harbor. What the hell? Yeah, the guy. Why would he re- make a good movie? It's working. <laughs> Why would he try to make a good movie? His whole. That's I mean, the woman he was seen with. Jesus Christ. Yeah. He steps out with mystery brunette whose dress can hardly contain her boobs. I love that line. That's great. Oh my god. Wait, I'm you think like, he fucked Megan Fox? They're looking pretty lovey dovey in a lot of these photos. Yeah. Megan Fox you. relationship. Let's see. Their relationship began. Megan to Fox sour. is so pretty. Oh, she, oh! She actually doesn't like. Oh, him I heard anymore. he's a dick on set, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. What a weird. That's the. <laughs> it's most... like you're not. You're like you're like. Oh, I'm Stanley Kubrick, and I <laughs> need it to be this. What What are you being a dick about? Yeah, he's speaking. Yeah. You have to go method. Get Optimus Prime on set right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bumblebee's drunk again. Dude, <laughs> he, dude, he made Armageddon. That's tough. Yeah, he made. Uh, he made all the action movies. I got no issue. What with else that. did he make actually? Every Transformers movie, Armageddon, The Rock, Bad Boys. Wow, this is so many movies. 13 Hours, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Island, Bad Boys for Life, The Purge. Not a bad, a wow. two, a Texas Chainsaw and Friday. Jesus. A busy man, Michael Bay. I'm going to have to take back a lot of what I said about you in private. I have no, <laughs> I got no notes for you, dude. He I made really can't Mystery Men? That, that can't be no true. Idea. Did he really direct Mystery Men? That makes no, he must have been produced it or something. Damn. Okay, That's Michael not- Bay, cool guy. Wouldn't we, have thought we we'd end the pod today. with that, but we. Stand <laughs> Michael Bay Michael is Bay. hot. <laughs> Love that. Maddie, you got anything to plug? Yeah, what do you got to uh, plug, Maddie? I'm at Maddie T Wiener on Instagram and YouTube. I'm like trying to drop a half hour special at some point in the next year. So oh. anybody wants to subscribe to my YouTube, it'll become nice. out there. awesome. Where are you recording it? Or you uh, already did. I don't know yet, but it might be down in North Carolina. Nice, hell yeah. Uh, you have any shows coming up, people? Oh, you have a show in North Carolina, don't you? Uh, up? yeah, Cat's Cradle, North Carolina, December twenty second. I okay. believe. Okay, what Come city is out. that in? That is in Carborough. Carborough, North Carolina. Check out Maddie Wiener. Follow her. Great comedian. Drago. Now, remember, we're plugging things that happen next weekend, <laughs> not this weekend. December 16th, 17th, there Denver Comedy Underground. Huge. Come out. Oh, let's go. Drag queens only. Drag queens only. Oscars Nation, do not support that turncoat. <laughs> Oscars Nation that weekend, we're in Baltimore, Maryland. First time there. Added a late show at. I can't remember what the venue's called. Bottle Rocket Comedy. Come out to Baltimore. And this has been an episode. Oh, this is actually a Patreon episode. We're going to be with. This is Ooh. now a pa- first, our Patreon first Patreon episode. Dude. episode. Let's go. So thank you for subscribing. We're going to have most of our guests on the Patreon. So if you want to see Drago go Larry King mode, you're going to have to subscribe <laughs> to that Patreon. And uh, so this is not included in the N-word count. So, hey, we might be dropping the N-word in the Patreon. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we will not. Just having a little fun, ladies and gentlemen. We will we not. We might do it. We might what? do it every episode. We will episode. not be doing right. that. Maddie doesn't know that we we this. We're I don't not, know we what would, that is, and I have nothing do, to do with we that. We would never do that. It's a little joke. We'll tell you afterwards. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, it sounds like we're really racist as I explain it now, it's, but it's, it's not great. It's a Joe Rogan thing we were making fun of. Oh, okay. uh, this has been an episode. It doesn't matter. First episode of the Patreon. Thank you for listening. You've been an idiot. Good night. Good luck. Bye. <laughs>